Hello everyone. Welcome to topic of the day. In this edition, we shall be discussing about the critical information infrastructure. Now this was in news recently as on the 16th of June the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology issued a notification that declared IT resources of the ICICI Bank, HDFC Bank and the UPI managing entity NPCI that is the National Payments Corporation of India as critical information infrastructure. So let us understand what is the critical information infrastructure. The IT Act of 2000 defines the critical information infrastructure as a computer resource, the incapacitation or destruction of which shall have a debilitating impact on the national security, economy, public health or safety. So it gives the government power to declare database, IT network or communication infrastructure as critical information infrastructure to protect that digital asset in case of its violation or any person who secures access or attempts to secure access to a protected system in violation of law can be punished with a jail term of up to 10 years. So now the question arises, why is CII classification and protection necessary? Now the IT resources form the backbone of countless critical operations in countries' infrastructure and given their interconnectedness, the disruptions can have a cascading effect across these sectors. Information technology failure at a power grid can lead to prolonged outages crippling other sectors like healthcare and banking services. We have seen recent incidents of cyber attacks on civilian and defense establishments. Now let us understand about the National Critical Information Infrastructure Protection Center that is NCIIPC. It was created back in January in 2014 as a nodal agency for taking all measures to protect the nation's critical information infrastructure. It is also mandated to guard CIIs from unauthorized access, modification, use, disclosure, disruption, incapacitation or distraction. Now let us discuss what are the reasons for increasing cyber attacks. Firstly, it has adverse relations with China, asymmetric and covert warfare. Now cyber attacks also include asymmetric and covert warfare unlike conventional warfare. Further on, it has increasing dependency on technology than the manpower. So here are some of the government steps to ensure cyber security. First one is the National Cyber Security Council as well as the Computer Emergency Response Team India that is the CERT India. We have banning of potentially unsafe apps which have generally originated from China. Another one is the Personal Data Protection Bill and the National Cyber Security Policy 2013. Also, there is an upcoming three-phase cyber security strategy which will include pre-attack or preparatory phase. Second one is during the attack and the third phase include the post-attack period. Now, let us tap on some of the challenges with cyber security. First of all, we have low digital literacy among general public. Then there are certain vulnerable points in the cyber system and sometimes we have state-sponsored cyber attacks. So lastly, to deal with cyber attacks, we have to focus on increasing awareness and monitoring, strengthening the policy and ecosystem, pre-empting the cyber attacks, capacity building, frequent checks, partnership with private sector, and classification and prioritization of the assets. Now, I'll leave you with a practice question on this topic from Maine's perspective. So, what is the critical information infrastructure and what measures are taken by the government to ensure their security? And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I'll see you tomorrow with some other topic. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.